Hi, in this video we're looking at mole particle conversions. That is, how do I convert between moles and particles? Now, particles are just atoms, or they're molecules, or they're ions, or they're something called formula units. Um, and if you're stuck on that, go back and watch the video called What is a Mole? Because it goes through what a particle is as well. Um, but this question becomes, how do I convert between moles and particles? And the answer to that question is with something called Avogadro's number. Now, Avogadro's number, for those playing at home, is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And this simply means this number of particles is equivalent to one mole. And that's true of anything. It doesn't matter what kind of particle you're talking about. It actually doesn't even matter if you're talking about chemistry stuff or not. A mole is like a dozen. A dozen means 12. A mole just simply means this big number here, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. So how do we convert between them? Well, this is probably best demonstrated with a couple example problems. So here's the first problem. This says, how many moles, so we're looking for the number of moles, of lithium is equal or is equivalent to 9.25 times 10 to the 24th atoms of lithium. Now, why is this number so big? Why is it in scientific notation? Well, it's because in a weighable sample of anything, lithium is a good example, um, there's going to be tons, tons and tons and tons of atoms in even just a gram of it uh, or even just a mole. Uh, and so we're going to have big numbers here when we're talking about particles because we're talking about the smallest things that make up matter. So a uh, common thing that I notice uh, with this is that students have a tough time figuring out where to start. And the place to start with this as we're doing a conversion is with the information that you want to convert. Here we have atoms, which is a type of particle. Um, and so I want to start on the particle side and go to the mole side. And the way that I get there is by using this Avogadro's number as a conversion factor. So let me show you what that looks like. If I start with just 9.25 times 10 to the 24th, and it's really important that you include the unit on this, atoms, then you want to use a conversion factor to cancel out atoms and to get you into moles. Now this is something called factor label method or dimensional analysis. And if you need some review on what dimensional analysis is or factor label method is, go watch a video on factor label method. I'll put a link in the uh, description for this video. But the idea is that I want to put on the bottom of my conversion factor the unit that I'd like to cancel out. In this case, it's atoms, so by atoms. And then on the top, I can go directly from atoms, which is a type of particle, to moles. So I can put moles on top. Abbreviation for that, by the way, is just M-O-L. Not my decision on that one. Why well, not put the E and the S? It's not much of an abbreviation, but that's what it is. Um, and so I want to use this relationship where one mole is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Now, could this be molecules if we were doing a molecules problem? Yep. Could it be ions or formula units? Yep. Doesn't matter what it is, really. This number is always going to be equivalent to one mole. So now that I know this, I can just simply do the math. And I forgot my calculator, so hold on one second. OK, I'm back. All right. So um, good thing to do with scientific notation types of things like this is to put the scientific notation in parentheses. Now, sometimes it may not even be necessary, but it never, ever hurts to put your values in parentheses. So I'm typing in 9.25 times 10 to the 24th, closing up the parentheses. And then I'm dividing by, again, in parentheses, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Um, and I get this. This is exhilarating TV, isn't it? Uh, my calculator gives me 15.365. Four. Uh, I want to think about significant figures at this point. Um, and what you really want to do is just look at how many significant figures are in your beginning value. Uh, in this case, that's one, two, three significant figures. So that means in my final answer, I also want to have three significant figures. So how do I round this to three significant figures? It would just simply become 15.4. And then the unit on this is what I have left over, what's not crossed off, and that is mole. So there's my final answer. Three significant figures on that one, 
MOL is a, a good unit. MOLES is perfectly fine too. They both mean the same thing. Uh, let's do another one. This says 5.6 moles of butane is equivalent to how many molecules of butane? Well, molecules is a type of particle. And so it's basically saying, all right, we've got 5.6 moles. Convert it using Avogadro's number to figure out how many uh, particles, in this case, molecules there are of butane. Okay, so I, again, start with what I want to convert, 5.6 moles. I'm going to multiply by a fraction so that mole is underneath. I know that one mole is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Sometimes you have to extend your line there. Um, and now moles cancels out, and really all I have to do is multiply 5.6 by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. My calculator is going to understandably give me a big number. The number is 3.37 times 10 to the 24th, which I'd round to two significant figures because that's how many were in my starting amount, SF meaning significant figure here. So I'm going to have two in my final answer, and that just becomes 3.4 times 10 to the 24th uh, unit on this, again, is whatever you don't cross off. So that's molecules. Okay. Now we've gone in both directions. We've gone from particles to moles, and now we just went from moles to particles. What you maybe have noticed, and if you haven't, I'll point it out, is that the only difference in the process is flipping our fraction. If I'm coming from moles, I want one mole to be on the bottom of my fraction, and 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles to be on top. If I'm coming from particles, I want 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles to be on the bottom and one mole to be on top. Uh, apart from flipping this fraction, the two processes are the same. So um, try some of these for yourself. Um, I will show you the final answer for each of these, but pause the video right now. By the time that red check mark in the top right corner is up, I'll show you the answers. For this first one, it's uh, 8.25 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of C4H10. By the way, that's what butane is. Uh, the answer on this one is 1.37 moles of C4H10. Let me show you how I got that. Uh, 8.25 times 10 to the 23rd molecules is where I want to start. I'm going to multiply so that 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules is on the bottom. I'm a bad judge of fraction line length and also really bad at drawing a straight line. And then the top is going to be one mole. Cancel this out. Um, sometimes if you get a number that, uh, an exponent that's like 47 or 46 or something, it's just because you forgot to use uh, parentheses around your numbers. So you want to put parentheses around this, parentheses around this. You're going to end up dividing these because 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd is on the bottom and you should round to three significant figures. So 1.37 moles uh, is the answer. And the next one here, we're going in the opposite direction because they give us how many moles and we need to figure out how many particles that's equivalent to. In this case, the particles is ions. So I'm gonna start again with the information I wanna convert, 9.5 moles, and I'm gonna multiply so that moles is underneath, one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd ions. Hey, look at that. That's the right size line. That does not happen often. Um, so I cancel out moles. Uh, what I'm doing here is then just multiplying 9.5 by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. 5.7 times 10 to the 24th uh, is the right answer for that one. And anytime you're solving for particles, you're going to have a number that's can really can only be expressed in scientific notation because the number is going to be enormous. And so that's why we have scientific notation so we can do that uh, more easily. So that's it. That is the process. Mole particle conversions really just hinges on your ability to move around a fraction. The fraction being that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. Thank you.